All right, I'm on hole number two of the Coastal Classic Tournament in my 99 account. Demo on some lower level clubs and the whole goal when you've got lower level clubs, I'm, I'm here to tell you, if you just go out there and shoot the 24, the ideal if you're playing Ricky is minus 12. So here, uh, my goal is minus 24. Whatever it takes to get a minus 24. And if I pick up any shots, I want to hang on to them. I don't want to pick up a shot and go, cool, I've got one I can drop on nine. I'm not, I'm not interested in dropping any shots. I want to shoot a 24, and if I get an extra, I want to hang on to it. If you do that in Ricky, you will uh, be up at the top of the bracket every week. All right, I'm going to use my Viper. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to use my quarterback. And this is a long shot going in, so I need to bring a bigger ball. And the biggest ball I can afford to bring is a katana. So I'm going to use my quarterback and a viper. Everything else should be good to go. This account has little little coins, so I have to uh, play shootouts. I really basically only play this in tournaments, so I gotta make sure it has enough coins. Play friendly sometimes with my clan mates, up to tour four, because that's as high as this has been. Isn't it great? I do not like that shot out there. Unless you get way out there and you bring a big ball and a guardian. <laughs> then you can start on the other side and you can backspin, side spin it towards the hole. Three nine. Do a four ring pull. And put just a little bit of curl on it just to keep it to the right. And hit it way great to the left. Probably at least a ring and a half. And you notice that if you've ever hit over there to the left like that, it rolls off pretty hard and ends up in the rough. The reason I didn't do that is that little teeny bit of curl. So this hole right here, everything, if you're on the left-hand side, there's a ridge right down the middle. If you're on the left-hand side, it, it's just going to dive right into the rough. But if you put a little bit of right-hand curl on that shot, it won't hurt you on the other side. But if you hit it to the left, it'll keep the ball from rolling. It'll fight that curl, all that gravity of that or that slope will fight that curl all the way to the very end and then at the very end it'll just trickle off a little bit to the left but it'll stay out of the rough. I'm right there at it. Got two rings off. I'm not going to have a really good shot here because I need a little more distance. So I can put a little more backspin on it. More sights, man. Three, four. It's about two rings. It's three, eight, and I'm doing a ten percent adjustment. And a great to the right. <coughs> I was trying to snap it off there. I was running out of time, dinking around with that adjustment. And that was great to the right. <laughs> The deal there was from where I was at, I couldn't get, I that shot looked like it was going to take at least another bar of backspin in order to slow it down, otherwise you're just going to fly past the hole. And it doesn't do any good to hit the flagpole if you're just going to fly, slam off of it and bounce off in some direction. So where I was out there trying to do a clean bounce over that sand trap, I couldn't get that done. So by moving it to the left, I was able to engage the side spin of the ball and get me around the, side, the sand trap on the side. 
I should have recognized that the second that I started to adjust that and immediately moved over. If you bring a three power ball, where I would have been at in my club range on that hole, let's go back to that hole, where I would have been at in my club range down here, my red line was right in here when I was trying to take that shot, so I couldn't get enough forward distance to be able to engage the backspin I needed to clear this. But if I'd have brought a three power ball, my red line would have been up further, and I would have been able to make that shot a lot easier. So on my main account, I'm using a three power ball, and that's definitely the way to go, not for the first shot. The first shot, it doesn't matter. You can bring a marlin on the first shot. It's just, but the second shot is a monster shot. If you don't bring something with power, you have, you have to bring a big tug. Otherwise, your red line is going to be back here. And you're really going to have to bring something. And what sucks about back here is with all your topspin, the end of the run is down here in the narrowest part of the entire, in the entire fairway. And it's at the end of your run, you have no control over it. So the closer you can get your ball, the more you can you can get where your bounces are going over this so you're not engaging that narrow part at all so like if you play this hole in one-on-one -on -one, you go yeah I get it done all the time with a one power ball yes you do but it, you always struggle you don't struggle on the first shot you always struggle on the second shot so in tournaments that's why we want to bring bigger stuff we don't want to worry we, we did our setup now we want to make sure we have the right equipment to actually try and get it in the hole all right, that was hole number two, par four of the Coastal Classic Tournament. Thanks for watching. Let's get to the main screen here. It always ends good when the video ends on the screen. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.